Hi folks, Mel here, and I'm coming with a project share. A quick project share. I did not do a tutorial uh, because there is a tutorial that I can link to where you can learn how to make these yourself. She uses hot glue. I used um, fabric tack glue just because um, I wanted it to uh, maybe last a little longer. Um, hot glue would work just fine too because the fabric is really thin. But I did watch a video from Michelle Pipling, which is... Um, ribbons, just add ribbons, roses, and lace, and something like that. I will link a, a link to her channel below on how she made these, to the video where she made these. Um, but what she had done was she had taken a Dollar Tree stock, and she had taken a sachet, which I believe I have one handy. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I do. So then she took one of these sachets, and she slid it into the sock, and then she embellished. So this was the first one I made. And I really loved the bling on it. I actually did use an image that I had found and put it in a bottle cap um, with the pink and the black. Um, and this is for my friend Jeannie. Um, I loved it because her craft room is pink and black and I really liked the black and pink and then the bling. And I put this beautiful applique behind it and then the sachets back here. So you can actually take it out and refill it. I did add a handle so she could hang it up or she could put it in her drawer if she'd wish. Um, but look at all these little pieces. I attached some millinery pieces here with some black um, uh, trim and then some bling there and of course the applique is just to die for. So this is the one I made and I did back a little bit for the backing just so you could see. Um, but it is really pretty. So this was the first one I made. And then I ventured to the fabric store. And when I did that, I was able to find this quilting fabric that I loved. And it was the perfect size to make the sachets. I wanted to use some that were fabric, um, but I also didn't want to have to necessarily use these bottle caps just because if you do put this in your drawer this might snag on lingerie or something so I wanted to make them to where that they were universal uh, of course some of them are not because I use paper flowers and such but here's was here was the panels that I found and these are the designs that I found so I found the pink bird the three set of these butterflies the Rosa, which of course I did do a sachet out of this already for my grandmama. And then these two sets of butterflies. And it is the all the shabby chic colors. It's the blue, the pink, the yellow, the creams. It's perfect. And then there was this blue bird, which I did for my other Jima. And then this panel. And I thought, oh, how pretty is this? So I got a half a yard and I went ahead and made some sachets. This one does not have a handle. But I liked that I could use the pink and the yellows. I mean, it has the blue too, but I really wanted to do a pink and yellow one. And I and I backed it with gingham, yellow and white gingham fabric. Isn't that pretty? And I think, what do I have in this one? I think I have lilac in this one. And boy, do they smell good, let me tell you. <laughs> and then I did this one. And this one I put a handle on as well, so it can be hung up or put in a drawer. But I attached lots of beautiful laces and trims to this. And I just loved the flowers I added. It just looks so pretty with this pink bird. I, like I said, I've already given away the blue bird one and the rose one, or the rose one. Um, but otherwise, I'd show them. But I saw my grandparents over the weekend for a funeral, so I thought I would bring gifts. And of course, I just used um, plain fabric on the backs of this one. So that was just a quick project share of what I was using um, and what I was making. I mean, totally two different looks and two different styles, but. Um, I had fun. As soon as I found this fabric, I couldn't help but buy some to make this project. And I have plenty, plenty more. A half a yard got me 36 pieces of this to make sachets. So perfect for Mother's Day and um, for a springtime gift for any of your loved ones. I think all ladies would love sachets. I mean, who doesn't want their laundry to smell yummy? Um, so anyway, thanks for stopping by to check out this quick little um, project share. And um, I will chat with you guys all soon. Thanks for watching.